before I start on this review, I wanted to point this out on this poll that I posted yesterday. Now, some of y'all really think that I got the Captain and Crush truck, but fingers crossed if you actually think I do. But let's just be real. That This is for next week's review, because next week, it'll be a review on either of these two, whichever you think I got, because I wanted to point this out before, because uh, I actually went to Target today. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just pointing that out. Alrighty, so we're back at it again with the Legacy Collection. And just jump out the dang way. This is what I got. Found the ESO Sona Capture Pack at Target. Of course, it wasn't on their shelf, so I had to go at the back and see if they actually have it. So thankfully, they do. And thankfully, it wasn't registered locked, as I've been hearing about certain figures being registered locked. Might as well just go ahead and say that I am super glad that I got this set. It was obviously on my list for a long while, ever since it was announced. And of course, it was like our first Mattel iteration of Roland Tembo. And not to mention the packaging just looks so beautiful. That Iso Sona aesthetic, the red woods and everything. It's just so great. Taking a closer look at the package, you got the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo right there. Iso Sona capture pack in different languages. Barcode, Mattel logo, H4+. The juvenile Parasaur Lophus we can see is hanging out with Roland Tembo behind a plastic bubble. Or <laughs> at least trapped in a plastic bubble. And we got our darts. And this really freaking awesome engine vehicle that it comes with. Other pictures demonstrating different action features and of course this scan code thing, which is the brand new one this time. And then the back of the package, which really looks nice for the new Legacy Collection packages. You got the image of what's going on right here. And then you got the other figures to collect, which is the Raptor. I literally forgot this freaking dinosaur name, but it's not technically a dinosaur that was supposedly from like any of the other films. Not sure. And then the pack itself for Soros. Hopefully I will get the packy because that one is a more movie accurate rendition. I miss out on the other one. Again, fingers crossed if I actually do. And uh, you got all this other stuff, the scan code capabilities again, the action feature demonstrations, the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo up there. Just this aesthetic of the Legacy Collection package is a lot better in my opinion. I absolutely love this. Anyways, so now that we're done looking at the package, Okay, side to side. Yeah, side to side legacy collection. Anyway, now that we're really done with the package, let's go ahead and take this set out the package. Okay, I got everything out the package. This is how I took it out. I used my X-Acto knife to at least get some of this stuff out and everything. And I tried my best to be as careful as possible because this is so beautiful. Here's a closer look at the Redwoods looking aesthetic of the East Osona area and everything. It just looks so good. That's it's like it's so good. I did not want this package to be completely torn to pieces. So yeah, now I got that out of the way. Here is the East Osona Capture Pack out the package. Entirely just a great set already. Mostly because this is our first time getting a Roland Tembo figure from Mattel. And I do think the Juvenile Parasaur Loafers is a nice addition. It really does look pretty dang good for what it is. It's not entirely perfect, but it looks really good. And the NGN vehicle itself is just the biggest reason to get this set. But it's mostly because of the Roland figure. We're gonna take a closer look at the Roland figure and see if I can get it in good focus. Now I will say this, yeah, they definitely nailed Pete Possibly's likeness. He looks exactly like how he's supposed to look like in action figure form. Like from every angle, yeah, that's Roland Tembo. Looks really nice. Also, we got his hat and it's in pretty good detail. Of course, it's all in one paint, but that doesn't really matter when it comes to a toy like this. And he's got his really iconic jacket. And the, actually, this one made out of a thinner plastic or thinner rubbery plastic, I think. Or might as well rubber, whatever. It's a lot thinner than most of the, um, you know, the Mattel jackets they've ever done. Like, other than had a lot more thick layers, this one is a lot more thinner. But it's still nicely detailed. As you can see, that photo real technology on his face, it looks really good. <laughs> So yeah, Roland Tembo looks really nice in action figure form. Well, this particular version of the figure is a lot better. It's it's funny because it's like you got Kenner's versions, which they made like three different renditions, and yet this one somehow just ends up being the only one that's really great. This is really the best Roland figure, and I just really love it and the, the detail they have and everything. It's just everything is entirely how it's supposed to look. I think those socks are supposed to be white, but I don't really care. <laughs> it all looks nice overall. Maybe I'm wrong about the socks part, I don't know. But anyway, it looks really nice overall. It's just a really great figure, a great interpretation of Pete Possibly as an action figure. It's just very freaking good. I absolutely love this. Like, of course, it was obviously going to be freaking loved on because it was such a great... It's a 
such a good character and a great freaking figure. Really like this. It's just so good. So I really have nothing else to say. It's just such a great figure to um to own. And not to mention, it's just, it's Roland Tembo. I mean, come on now. He's cool. So that's basically what I have to say. This figure is nice. Everything about him is nice. He's got the same articulation points. Don't need to go over. There. That's basically it for Roland. Great figure. Nothing else to even point out. And then let's take a look at the Parasaurus, the Juvenile Parasaurus. Now, this is a pretty nice figure. The detailing on it is incredible. Of course, you got that, like, the typical Mattel detail they always put on there. I mean, the paint job is a little lacking a tiny bit. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just a little lacking to a degree. But at the same time, it's just pretty dang good overall. It's like, what I really love about this toy is that you can see the detailing just popping right out of there it's just really it just looks really good i know this is the shine in the camera or the lighting but you can clearly see how much detail is packed into this parasaur loafers and of course it's obviously smaller and then you got the jurassic world logo down there but no scan code on the feet because again they have these scan codes on these little things so there's the scan code right there and the jurassic world logo is also on this so Hides in there, doesn't look too distracting. And yeah, I do think this Parasaur is nice. It's a nice addition to the set. It's got the, um, also the head right here is articulated. So that's just, just like the other Parasaur toys that we had previously. So this is pretty nice. Yeah, all I gotta say is that this is a really nice sculpt. It's not entirely perfect because of the paint is a little lacking, but for a set that you're getting for $30, at least you don't want them to freaking overprice it because, you know, paint applications are the reason why these toys are getting a little bit higher other than inflation. There's a pretty good idea on how the Parasaur looks up against the more adult looking Parasaurs. This is my Dino Rivals Parasaur Lophus from 2019. And here's our in-gen vehicle. Now this whole dang thing just looks really freaking good. Of course, it's accurate to the movie, except for the green or this yellowish green stripe right here. That's not entirely from the movie or from the vehicle at all. But other than that, it's just such a really good vehicle. It's nice to actually own an engine vehicle, like in this kind of form in Mattel's like toy line. Also got the stickers at the back and they also got them at the front as well. And then you got the engine decal from here and the front and on the other side. You can look inside and you got this tracker showing the Parasaur Lophus, which is obviously what they're tracking down over here. <laughs> And the detailing on the inside of the vehicle, of course, it looks really good. I feel like the steering wheel is always upside down when they always... Okay, there we go. I don't know what it is, but every time I get a Mattel figure set, it's always a steering wheel just somehow happens to be upside down. I don't know what it is. But other than that, this is a really nice, like, interior, the way they designed it. It's got the detail... Well, this side's got that detailing of, of from over here. And, of course, figures can probably sit in the back at this part, which is nice. Of course, the figure has an action feature where you hold on to this button and this slides out, just like in the movie, except it slides out a little rapidly fast. <laughs> of course, we're going to have to sit Roland Tembo in this part and then insert the darts. Oh, wait, I actually forgot. These darts, like the extra darts can go back here. Hold on a second. There we go. So I can just put the extra darts back here. We got rolling ready and we got our first dart here. Gonna go ahead and put that all the way inside. There we go. And then of course this thing shoots really far, so hopefully I don't lose this. Ah, there we go. Caught it again. Because it landed on the package of the Jurassic World set. It landed right on that dang thing. So now we got an extra dart to put in there. So um let's go ahead and get him out and slide this back in. So that we got we got an actual dart ready inside it. Oh yeah, if it's one more thing I want to do, because it wouldn't be an Easter Sona capture pack set, or it wouldn't be like, you know, Roland Tembo's character without the buck racks over here from 2019. Now, of course, this obviously could be bigger. Because you know, if we actually do get a T-Rex toy, another green Tyrannosaurus Rex somehow, I would definitely like that they would do so, especially if they do give us an actual Tyrannosaurus Buck. I decided to have Linda stand in for the um, driving portion of the vehicle. Also, not to mention, I wanted to point out that I still have my custom video 
Like, if anybody wants to check out that video, you can because it will be in a card on the top. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That's basically it for this review. I wanted to freaking point that out. <laughs> so I'm very glad that I got this set. This is a really nice set. Finally good that we're getting more Jurassic characters that isn't just from the first movie. You can find us at Target because it is starting to come out very early on. And on the mention, you can just literally find us via barcode or whatever when you get at the back. Or some Target stores literally would have it on the shelf. Anyways, that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And tune in next week for another Jurassic World figure review. And again, like some of y'all really think I got the Dominion capture and crush truck. But other than that, like, <laughs> that just, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you guys next week.